We all know that ChatGPT recently had a major upgrade, and we now have all of these different apps. Now, I call them apps, but they're actually known as GPTs, and there's quite a few different ones. Now, out of all of these, if you're creating anything related to colouring books, then Dali Free is going to be your best bet. Now, the other day, I actually made a video all about this one just here, which was Colouring Book Hero. Now, if you want to check out that video, I will link it down in the description. But nonetheless, I was scrolling through these and I found another image app. Well, GPT. And it's this one just here. And it's called Hot Mods. Now, this lets you modify your image into something really wild. Upload an image and let's go. Now, I wanted to play around with this to see if it could take one of my previous colouring pages, which I created. This one was actually created in Colouring Book Hero within that video I just mentioned. Again, that video is going to be down in the description. But I wanted to see if it could take this image and then turn it into something I could potentially use as a colouring book. And I actually got this image. So, let me go ahead and share with you what I did to actually do this. So first of all, I actually asked Hot Mods, what do you do? And I got this reply. Hello, I'm Hot Mods, a specialized version of ChatGPT. My primary role is to assist users in visualizing modifications or decorations to their images. I can take an existing image and provide creative visual enhancements while maintaining its basic integrity and color scheme. Whether you need ideas for altering a photo, adding artist touches, or imagining a unique modification, I'm here to help bring those ideas to life. So then I went on to ask it, can I do this or can you do this with coloring pages? And it says, absolutely. I can assist with ideas for colouring pages. If you have a specific colouring page in mind, you can share it with me. And I can suggest creative ways to enhance it, whether it's through unique colour schemes, adding background elements, or incorporating thematic details. Just upload the image of the colouring page and let me know what modifications or decorative elements you're thinking of. So then I asked it, would this help with turning my colouring pages into book covers? Yes, I can certainly help with that. It can help with design suggestions, visual enhancements, colour schemes, thematic alignment, and feedback and refinement. Now, I then asked it, what size images can you do this for? It says that just here. Standard book covers, image resolution, aspect ratio, digital formats, and so on. So what I did was actually uploaded the image and then I asked it, here's one of my colouring pages. Can you give me some suggestions on colour schemes for this cover? And it gave me some really nice ones. It gave me ideas for a children's book, holiday theme, classic and elegant, nature inspired, fantasy, modern and bold. So then I said, let's go with number one, the children's book. Let's keep the design in keeping with the colouring page and keep it very simple. And then it created this for me. So this was the first image which I started with, and then it gave me this, which I actually thought looks pretty good. But then I asked for a variation, and then it gave me this one as well. So then I thought I'd ask it if they can actually put words on the covers. Now it says, I can't directly modify images or add text to them. So this is where it's a little bit of a letdown. It can't create images and put text on the covers. Now, if you use just DALI 3, you can actually do this. And I'm going to cover that in a second. So then I just went on to ask it that I had another colouring page and can you give me some suggestions? So I uploaded this here within this app or this GPT and said, here's one of my colouring pages. Can you give me some suggestions on colour schemes? And it said traditional Christmas, winter wonderland, warm and cosy, candy cane twist, vintage Christmas, and modern chick. 
Now I said, let's go with number three, warm and cozy. And then I got this. So this isn't quite what I was after. So I explained that and then it gave me a better option. Now I quite liked this, but I didn't quite like the color combination. So I said that this looks good, but let's create another and change the colors to more vivid and bright Christmas covers. And then it just kept messing up the image. As we can see, we're getting two separated images. So I was going back and forth. And then I just said, why are you creating two images in one image? And then it just went on to explain why it did that, but then gave me a better option. With this one, this looks really great. Now, this is all just fun to play around with this GPT called Hot Mods. But if you are doing anything related to coloring books, coloring pages, and you just want to use ChatGPT, then I highly suggest just using DALI 3. Because DALI 3, you have a lot more wiggle room with what you can actually do. And again, with DALI 3, you can put text onto the images that you're creating and they do come out pretty well. So I have this chat open just here. This is just DALI 3, nothing else. I took that same image, uploaded it here into DALI 3 in ChatGPT, and I put, can you create a coloring book cover from my coloring page? Use bright, vivid Christmas colors, and I want the words, Hoppy Christmas in a bold, curved font at the top of the page. And again, as you can see, we got much better results. That was the first one, and then this was the second. Now, I also did it with the bear coloring page as well, and again, much better results. So if you are serious about creating coloring pages here within ChatGPT, then I highly suggest just playing around with DALI 3, because if we take a look at these ones, even though Christmas isn't spelt right, we could easily rectify this and erase all of this out in a different software and then just put Merry Christmas there. But if we take a look at this one, we could probably do the same with this as well. But nonetheless, these images are a lot better than what you can actually do with hot mods. Now, the real power is going to be in creating your own GPTs. So if we come up to here to My GPTs, this is where you can create and customize a version of ChatGPT for a very specific purpose. And again, that's where the real power will lie in creating your own GPTs for very specific purposes in regards to coloring books, coloring pages, Amazon KDP, or anything that you want. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up as it really helps out the channel. And if you want something else to watch, then click right here and watch this video.